Hello friends, it's Angelina Dima from Okenshi World and we're about to start a new day hike today. Sierra Elada hiking trail that crosses this coastal mountain range along its crest and goes from Benidorm to Alibir or vice versa. This is quite a demanding 8.5 km linear route with lots of ups and downs so it should take us around 5 hours or so to do. It passes on the edge of the impressive cliffs and promises lots of great views that makes it one of the unique excursions in the province of Alicante. So let the adventure begin! <laughs> So as we're starting from Benidorm, we have to go uphill quite a bit for a couple hundred meters to the Cruz de Benidorm, which is like the mountain hill top cross of Benidorm. So I have to get through the zigzagging streets and stuff going up. And finally, we're coming there. several hundred meters after the Venidom cross, we start to send right away, quite a steep uphill to the highest point of this trail, Alte Gobernador, which is 438 meters. But we still don't know how challenging the trail is going to be. We're gonna check it out. Yeah, we just wanted to know that in order to start the trail, you can either start in Venidorm or Alpir, which is on the Aldea side, and whether you have the car or taking the bus. So you can take the bus at either of these ends in Albir and Benidorm. And also if you travel by car, you can park your car in Benidorm or Albir, then hike this linear route and either go back the 8.5 kilometers, but keep in mind that it is quite challenging maybe, or take the bus and then go back to where your car is parked. So these are your options. Yeah, so it is quite well communicated. Right from the start we've been enjoying the scenic panoramic views of the coast of the endless sea line and as well as the mountain ranges which you can see behind me the Puch Campana peak which we where we've done several hikes already and can't get enough of it how wonderful and scenic it is so it's been pretty beautiful so far and we've done the small uphill already and yeah it is pretty hot you guys <laughs> this week was kind of an anomaly like here in Alicante because uh, the temperatures in March rise up higher than 25 degrees. So like going to 30 degrees Celsius, which is summer like, you know, it feels like June, but still it is the start of March, which is really strange and weird. And the, you know, uh, and the body just feels strange and overheat probably. But yeah, we've been enjoying the cool wind at least. And yeah, it's still nice and comfortable.
think we can spot Ibiza Island far in the distance. It is located in around 150 kilometers from the coast of Alicante. And on the clear days like today, climbing high in the mountain, it's possible to spot the island. It's very, very cool, we think. And yeah, we know that it's possible to travel here, you know, taking the boat from uh, Denia, right? Yeah. Denia? Uh, to I Ibiza, like on a straight, straight boat to there. So yeah, it's no wonder you can see it like that, but still we haven't ever spotted it. So this is very, very nice. So now we're doing the first major downhill. As we said, we were ready and prepared for the trail to be quite challenging because of lots of ups and downs that we read beforehand when we read the trip reports of others. And yeah, but it's still doable, pretty doable with the trekking poles. And just have to concentrate on the descent, like where to step and everything. And yeah, so now the uphill is expecting us. Also, we are happy to say that there is some shadow on the trail as well and some trees, which is uh, very unexpected, but so pleasant. Just having a bit of a break, hiding from the sun, before doing the next uphill on the trail. And the trail marking was great so far. We've been following the white yellow marks and they are very accurate and easy to follow in. Passing through a lot of amazing views here, which are very wide and wonderful, and lots of vertical walls, as you can see right now from video footage, and 
those are incredible because we're seeing the crystal clear waters above being 300 meters above them so it's like a bird eye view and yeah we have a little bit of a breeze coming from the sea coast and it's very very pleasant and nice also, the name of this uh, mountain range, Sierra Elada, translates as the frozen mountain range. And the name came from the cliffs themselves, so the vertical cliffs that are seen from the seaside on the moonlight nights. And they make impression of being magical and frozen, because when the moonlight hits them, they appear to be white and in this light. And it is incredible and magical sight, probably. It seems like this trail never disappoints in ups and downs and now we're facing another downhill which seems like we're descending on the ground level. We're not sure but it seems like it. And then on the other side we don't see the path actually climbing up. Maybe we don't see it now but it looks too steep right now to us but <laughs> let's see if we approach it and yeah how it will go. Well, it turned out that we have to climb it on this side of the hill and yeah, it is the steepest part of today's trail. Maybe it's going to be the steepest part, we don't know it yet. But yeah, we're quite happy that we're climbing it and not descending down because then it would be even more challenging probably. Yeah, so we have to use our hands now, not so much use of the trekking poles, but yeah, get into the top. came to one of the few info boards getting close to the Alt Governador, which is the highest point of today's trail. And we can believe it says to the cross of Benidorm, like if you go in the reverse direction, it says it's 3.8 kilometers only. And you guys, it feels like in our legs and our body that we did twice as much, you know, it was very, very challenging, hard trail. That's crazy, you know, to believe. <laughs> But yeah, now we're having the last uphill and then epic downhill. In most of the places we're passing today, we're growing lots of blossoming, lots of flowers and different wild plants which are endemic to these places. That's why it is considered a protected area that is very precious for its flora and fauna and we feel like we mentioned it in every other hike in the area we did but the presence of smells and aromas around are just amazing every time and we can't get enough of it. So we feel like we can collect a box of medical herbs and spices and mix them all together use for aromatherapy or just make some infusions and stuff but yeah of course it is a protected area as I said and it is forbidden but this is what we feel, the ambience and environment that we're hiking. We're 
time to the highest point. The last stretch was going on a pavement road, but all the way to the peak was no joke. It was very demanding. And lots of sweat and effort went into it. Uh, definitely more than we expected. <laughs> And now we have way down to do 380 meters in two kilometers. So it may not be the most easy, but yeah, uh, this is the last stretch. We're already a bit tired, I think. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, we'll meet you on the way. Now we're almost down at the final stretch of our hike and all the day to day we could see the splendid panoramic views of the sea coast and the sea is very very calm as you can see and it's like glass like surface and it's been pretty incredible. Also behind me you can see the Bernia mountain range which is another uh, amazing hiking destination that can be explored and we think we're gonna do at least one hike there as well if we have the chance and yeah so many amazing mountain peaks and ranges to explore last part of the downhill. Our hiking trail is coming to the end. As you can see it's already dusk. So the whole trail took us around five hours. But it was a challenging one for sure. As you can see off our tired faces we feel quite exhausted. Our legs are dying and shaking and so it does took a lot of effort. Maybe also we chose uh, the hot day to do it because today it was reaching 30 degrees Celsius as we already mentioned. So it didn't contribute to an easy you know the hike for sure so it made it more difficult if it was fresher no cooler air and yeah it would be much much better and easier to breathe because sometimes you feel like out of breath and you know body didn't adjust still like to this temperature because just you know a couple of days ago we had you know 15 degrees 12 degrees right it definitely made it more challenging but also lots of ups and downs they are very tiring for, for the legs especially if you're not used to it yeah, so I would definitely say that it is a uh, demanding, uh, you know, medium to high difficulty trail. So I would say it's closer to the heart yeah. side and it's definitely one of the most challenging we've done in this area and we've already hiked a lot, probably we've done more than eight hikes already uh, and explored a little bit and so yeah, and here at the sea coast uh, we faced, you know, this challenge. Yeah. So, yeah, it was unexpected, but the terrain is very difficult again. There is lots of gorges where we go like wave-like motion. So, yeah, and it, it, it never ends. We would recommend this hike for experienced trekkers with quite a lot of mountain experience and it's important to be in good shape because sometimes you even have to climb. Best season to hike is spring and autumn of course and avoid in summer months because with the hot weather and strong sun it would be impossible to do. Yeah. There is not much shade on the trail also, right? You go on the, the direct sunlight in the open spaces, you know, pretty much the whole time. But if you're one of those experienced hikers and you're up for a challenge uh, to tackle one of the most difficult trails close to Benidorm and in Alicante region uh, overall, we think, uh, this may be the trail for you and, you know, just go for it. Uh, you can, you know, you can crush it as we did. Just probably start early in the morning if it's again like summer and also have the right equipment. So the shoes, trekking poles, etc. And don't go overloaded and also bring a good supply of water. It's very, very important. So we finish this video here. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hiking with us and subscribe for more hiking trip reports from different regions in Spain and Europe. Thank you all for watching guys. Take care, have lots of great adventures and we'll see you soon in our next video. Bye. Bye.